going on YouTube, Gilly's Reef here, uh, still in my P PJs, not at the tank, I'm at my desk with the computer on, and it was brought to my attention that Mike Lemming threw me in the spotlight, so obligated to do this video. I've been watching it and it's not like I don't want to do it. I think it's pretty cool. Good idea. YouTube uh, or Tuber tag challenge. But um, I didn't even clean up for you guys. So I'm going to brush my beard while I talk. Um, let me pull up the list really quick. I don't even know what the questions are. I'll go on Mike's channel really quick. All right, let's see. First question, fish only tank or a reef? Uh, in a perfect world, a reef, um, there's a lot of challenges, but I enjoy it. So reef tank for me, not to say I wouldn't do a fish only tank, but I prefer, I enjoy the reef. Uh, second question, softer or hard corals, uh, soft corals, easier to take care of, um, not so much babysitting, and you don't really have to monitor your levels as, as often as you do with hard corals. Uh, my favorite coral, favorite coral would probably have to be the frog spawn. Um, frog spawn. I stare at that thing every day, so. Uh, favorite fish? Um, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. As of right now, my favorite fish would have to be the clownfish. Um, either or the oscillaris or, or, or the or kilos, whatever, however you say it. I think they they definitely have a personality. Uh, they can warm up to you. They'll come up to you. They'll eat out of your hand. Uh, just all around great fish for beginners and experienced reefers. Um, as you know, they come in a lot of different morphs nowadays, costing upwards of $100 or more. Um, but you can still get the same enjoyment from the, the basic one. So, it's a good fish. My least favorite coral. Probably zoanthids. And I know some of you are going to be like, what the heck, Gilly? That's the most attractive coral to some people. But they're a pain in the butt. Some ways they're open, some days they're closed. They always get little pests on them. They're so irritated so easily. It's just, I think it's my eagle eyes that have really uh, affected this answer. <laughs> I hate those. Um, I, they're beautiful, okay? They're beautiful, I have a bunch. Um, but they're still my least favorite. Uh, homemade or commercial food? Um, right now I'm using the commercial food, but it's pretty much homemade. It's a local food, um, so that it's kind of a, my answer can go both ways on that one. Um, homemade can get expensive depending on what you use, but Commercial foods just as good. Just pay attention to what the ingredients are. Next question is LED T5 or metal halide? I'm actually gonna go with T5 on this one. Um, I'm not running T5 at the moment. I have an AI Prime HD, and it is great. The Spectrum's awesome. All the fancy gizmos are awesome, but T5 is proven. Has been proven. And there's still a lot of veteran experienced reefers that use T5. Um, so if I, when I have the chance to go back to T5, I think I'm going to. Even though the cost of the bulbs are 
expensive and you get to replace them once a year. That's what your tax return's for. It's perfect. What would be my dream tank? Right now my dream tank is a 80 gallon rimless shallow tank from Deep Blue. Um, that's my dream tank and I know I'm gonna have one pretty soon. Uh, challenge three other people. Okay, let's go to my... Alright, CJ, I know you're probably busy. You haven't had a video in a while, but I'm challenging you. Everyone likes hearing from you. Um, I'm challenging Inappropriate Reefer. Good buddy, good YouTube buddy of mine. And Mass Aquariums. Everyone enjoys your videos, so I would like to hear you answer some of those questions. So that's it guys, um, Mike Lemming, thanks for tagging me, I'm out.